How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and today I've got a really awesome video. This is a video that's been in the works for over a month now and I'm really excited to share it with you guys today. So what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about this brand new tool that me and Geo Snow have developed together and it's called Moto Reaper. So what does Moto Reaper do for you? Well, as you guys know here on RootJunkie.com and on uh, my YouTube channel, I obviously really, really enjoy finding ways to bypass FRP, Factory Reset Protection, Google Account Lock. So Moto Reaper is a tool that can go ahead and remove FRP on Motorola phones. And in fact, it can do it on all Motorola phones. And that's the cool part about this tool. It's universal when it comes to the OEM Motorola. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys this process. So here you go, you've probably all seen this screen before in my videos, this is very standard, this is the Google FRP lock screen. Now, normally I use an escalation method, some way to escalate privileges into the phone to find a way around Google account uh, protection, right? Google account lock, previously synced device. So on this one, it's gonna be a little different, it's actually gonna be a lot different, because this is a, such a universal method, we're not gonna do that at all. We're gonna just sit on this screen. All right, let's go over to my computer and let me show you how this is gonna work. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and show you Moto Reaper here on the computer. So here is the zip file, Moto Reaper by PhoneLab v1.0. So we're going to go ahead and open up the zip. I use 7-Zip, it's my preferred uh, program, and just extract the folder. All right, close that, and then you're left with this on your desktop. And this is pretty nice, pretty nice. So basically what's contained in the zip is very simple. You have the Motorola drivers, so you either have 64-bit um, or 32-bit. So go ahead and make sure those are installed depending on your computer. You have a little text that talks about, you know, about the tools, little instructions about it, and then you have the EXE file. So we're just going to go ahead and run the EXE and close this down. And this should go ahead and launch Moto Reaper here. Um, this is created by PhoneLab, so if you're looking for information about that, you should really check out PhoneLab. It's an amazing school that I'm helping to run, and uh, we get a lot of cool stuff up there, including things like Moto Reaper, as you can see. So the first thing you got to do is go ahead and connect your device. So you can go ahead and click this for directions, and here is directions. Basically, what you got to do is you got to put the device into um, factory mode. So to do that, we're going to come over to my phone. We're going to power it off. And then we're gonna go ahead and hold volume down and power once it powers off. And we're gonna go into bootloader. So this is a bootloader locked phone, so don't worry about that. It's not rooted. So we're gonna come in here to scroll down until you see factory mode and then select that. And then you're gonna go ahead and plug in your USB cable to the phone. There we go. And we are in factory mode. So this, this, this GUI here, guys, this program is really amazing. I gotta give a big shout out to Geo Snow here with the developer who did this for us. Amazing dude, ton of effort into this, so really appreciate it, absolutely. So while this is booting up, we're just gonna say I've done this, I've done all these steps, I've got the Motorola drivers already installed, I'm in factory mode, and um, so we're good to go. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and say I've connected my device, and then it says you, device is successfully connected, so that's good. So we're gonna inject the exploit here. All right, so the exploit is, has, has uh, finished. So from here, we just have to unplug the, the device. And, and normally it shuts off by itself. Um, on all the new models, it shuts off by itself. You might have to turn it off. So now we're gonna hold volume down and power one more time. To get into bootloader, again, scroll to factory mode, hit power, plug in your USB cable. So it's a couple steps here, but it does do this, and this is universal. This works on Android 5.1, Android 6.0, and Android 7.0. Currently have not tested on 7.1 or above, but uh, I think it's gonna work the same. If it doesn't, maybe we'll tweak the tool and we'll bring we'll release Moto Reaper FRP tool version two. Let's see how things go. All right. So we're just waiting for it to fully boot up. There you go. So now we're gonna finish up the process. So you can say, yeah, I've done this. I confirm we're in factory mode. And then you gotta allow ADB on the device. There you go, always allow, hit okay. And then say I've done that. And then the last thing is just to go ahead and remove FRP by clicking the unlock button. So this is it, that is the process. FRP is going to be completely removed off the phone. 
and uh, you're rocking it. So I just gotta say, this is very awesome. We've tested this process on five or six, seven, eight, ten phones now at this point, and we're talking anything from Moto G, Moto E, uh, Moto X, Moto Z, uh, Turbo, um, Droids, I mean, you name it, Motorola, Moto Reaper, FRP tool removes it every time. So this is awesome. This is such a universal, I'm, I'm just super excited about it. So if you guys are interested and you'd like to get your hands on Moto Reaper, then just click on this link right here, visit Moto Reaper if you're in here, or I'll put a link in the video description, but you can come right to the main site and you can go ahead and check out uh, Phone Lab. So this is actually linking you right to it, so it's pretty nice. This is uh, all the courses we have. The main page will come up and you'll see other things too, but this is a list of courses. We have over 200 classes on here. Talking about things like FRP, phone unlocking, flashing firmware, all kinds of unique things, how to get firmware, where to get firmware. Um, just a lot, a lot of training. So if you're interested, you should definitely um, check this out. So let me just go back to the phone here and show you what we got. Now you can see that it is fully FRP bypassed. So I guess the final step is just to show you guys what is on this system. So this is an Amazon variant, just so you know. So which means you can't unlock the bootloader. How about that? In case people are asking about that. You can see the Android version on mine currently. Um, like I said, this has been tested on 7.1, not just a 6.01. Uh, so does work on all of them. Like I said, here's my Moto G5 and our fifth gen. It totally works on there fine. That's on Android uh, Nougat. So we're going to just go ahead and click on this and just to show you that you can now log into any uh, Gmail account you want, sign into your account. So just sign in and you'll be done. You'll be right logged into uh, whatever Gmail account you want to add to the phone because Google protection FRP lock has been officially removed. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, um, definitely give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Some likes on the video and um, subscribe to the channel. Obviously, there's a lot of cool stuff we put out and it's pretty interesting, I think. And if you like this kind of security research things, you're going to find the channel quite interesting. But that's going to wrap it up for me. Um, if you're interested in this tool, you want to check out Moto Reaper. Again, just go ahead and uh, click the link in the video description below. If you want to see Geo Snow's channel, he is also a YouTuber. Go ahead and click on his link I'll have in the video description as well. That's going to wrap it up for me, guys, and we'll catch you in the next video. Root Junkie out.